Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in ReactJS how to create a nested components. And here we got our new output. This is the app component. This is first component and second component. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before watching this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous ReactJS tutorials. You can find those tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial how to implement the nested components in ReactJS. Notice in this Visual Studio Code, I have created one first app ReactJS application. Now in this application contains some default folders and files has been created automatically when I create this react.js application and app.js is a component which is a default component which comes when we create this application now before creating the nested components first let's check the default output of this application and this is a default output of our react.js application now my aim is I will create two more components and I want to add those components into this app.js component. So first let's create the components. To create a components, notice in the source folder, I click the mouse, new file. All our JS and CSS files must be created in this source folder only. Now let's add, the file name is a first com dot, which is a component component.js enter and here we got our first component in react.js to create a component we need to import the class so import react class I'm importing the react class from react library after that I'm declaring a variable function I'm creating a function called first component is equals to between curly brackets and this function return h1 this is component 1 after that we need to ex export default our function name after creating the first component at .js let's save this file save all now let's add another component again go to source folder right click the mouse new file let's name this as a second component .js instead of writing the same code just copy this one and paste here I'm just I'm changing the component name the function name is a second and export default second component and this is I'm naming this this is component 2 I want to return from this component let's save this file save all now usually in react.js when we want to render our components we need to configure in the index.js if you notice here in the index.js the react dom dot render method contains the app component which is this default component now here i'm not adding my two components the first component or second component here but here i'm importing those components import first component from let's give the path first component colon and also let's declare the second component from second component after importing these two components into this app.js component now here um, I'm adding one table and this table I'm closing 
before the due tab. And here one important point is what are the HTML elements? The elements we'll add here must be inside the root element. The here the root element is div. After that, this one I'm adding tr table rows. This table row I'm adding after the header. Then T head this is app component after that I'm adding one more TR T head We head first component and I'm adding my component name which is a first component. Let's add the another component which is a second component second component second component that's it let's save this file save all we got a message come and completed successfully let's check the output see here we got three components here now what I'll do is uh, open index app.cs file the app header copy this one let's give some background component com background i don't want these all properties let's save this file save all and I'm adding this class name to app.js the tr in react.js when we want to add the CSS classes we need to add the class name is equals to our class name let's copy this one and paste here save this file we'll check the output so here we got three components one two and three now what what we'll do is here i'm adding tds so let's add the td i'm closing this td here this is a td instead of tr i'm adding tds td td let's close the tr let's save this file save all we'll check the output and here we got our new output this is the app component this is first component and second component let's adjust the text align vertical align is top let's save this file save all see here we got the new output let's add this app component is inside so t head will put this inside the header save this file again we'll check the final one see this is how we create the nested components in react.js thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel